Is F1 simply too boring? Is it too predictable? Are Red Bull too dominant? It's definitely a discussion and debate which has been going on since the start of this season. Formula 1 is a sport of eras. Now I've been an F1 fan for over 20 years now, and during that time I've seen various different eras of dominance from various different teams. And of course, it can get pretty boring when the best team is finishing 30 seconds ahead of everybody else. But that's just the way that the sport goes, but what feels different about 2023? Why does it feel more predictable? Why do I agree with this tweet so much? During Mercedes' period of dominance from 2014 until 2020, there certainly were some races which you just knew Lewis Hamilton was going to win. It did feel pretty average sitting in front of the TV for two hours only to watch Lewis Hamilton and the other Mercedes driver finish one and two. Still, we got some title battles between between Hamilton and Rosberg, 2016 being the big one and one of my favourite seasons in recent years, but it was still Mercedes dominance. In a situation like that, I guess the best thing you could possibly ask for is the two drivers of that dominant team fighting it out and having a rivalry. Now from 2017 onwards, we didn't really get that until 2021 where Red Bull stepped up and Max won the title. Now it's unrealistic and actually pretty foolish to expect every single race week to be a banger. That's simply just not how the sport goes. But recently at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, it was pretty surprising to see a track like Baku, which is usually providing us with a fun and exciting race, to be, well, extremely flat. With the regulations from 2022 onwards promising fans closer racing and hopefully a tighter field, that seems to have all gone away recently. Now, I don't think there are any regulations which would bring the field tight and even. Now sure, it has been easier to follow, but I think hoping that a set of regulations is suddenly going to make every car equal is just not going to happen. In 2021, we were blessed with one of the best F1 seasons of all time. Sure, it was between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, but that fight that went down to the very last lap of the very last race was something F1 fans were craving for years. It's definitely definitely up there as one of the best seasons, and from time to time, you do get those crazy F1 seasons that just blow your mind. Sort of like 2012, which I think is definitely one of the best seasons ever. Certainly, probably the best that I've ever seen. Now, Red Bull are clearly the dominant team in 2023, and I do want to bring this up again, that it is not Red Bull's job to slow down. It's everyone else's job to speed up. I just don't know what it is though. This season just feels way more predictable. I just feel like I know what's going to happen. I don't feel like there's going to be close fights on the track. And it's honestly kind of bizarre to feel this way. Now you could just say that I'm a hater or that I don't like Red Bull or Max, but the truth is that yes, I am a Ferrari fan first things first, but I do love Max Verstappen. I really like the way he goes about driving and I want to see him win titles. Sure, I'd like to see him win those titles in close championship battles, but for me, it's not the worst thing in the world if Max dominates the championship. I mean, for the greater good of the sport, of course, I want to see fights. I want to see battles. I want to see on-track controversy. But right now, it's Red Bull's world, and we're simply living in it. I've seen the point brought up a couple of times now, where we finally got a championship battle in 2021, and then when the regulations changed, everything went away. We lost that. But that doesn't really make much sense. If COVID never happened, and and the 2022 regulations actually came in in 2021, Verstappen's dominance would have just started a year earlier, and we never would have seen that fight between Lewis and Max. Plus, that championship battle was between those two drivers. It's not like everyone else on the grid was suddenly up there and ready to challenge for a championship. And there are some positives with these new regulations, of course. Look at the teams which have had the chance to innovate and build better cars, like Aston Martin, for example, performing very well in 2023 scoring podiums, and who knows, there could even be a win on the cards for a team like Aston. Now, here's my unpopular opinion, and try not to roast me for it, but I actually prefer the previous generation of F1 cars a little bit better. Now, this is purely from an aesthetic point of view. I just feel like they looked a lot more meaner. They looked a lot more complicated. They looked more like Formula One cars. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some really good looking cars on the current grid right now, but I just prefer the previous 
this generation. They look so much more complicated. The aerodynamics of those machines really jump out at you. I just love the complicated looking nature of them. Now I know the design of those cars was one of the big reasons why racing was so difficult. Dirty air and the ability for a driver to follow was a huge problem. Formula One has to constantly evolve. Innovation and technology is in Formula One's DNA and it's something F1 should be very proud of and embrace, which they do. Formula One fans really don't like change. When Formula One dumped the V10s and then the V8s and transitioned to turbocharged V6 engines, it was very different and the Formula One that I knew for a very long time, a huge part of my life, was suddenly gone. And as an F1 fan, you eventually adjust and accept it and you kind of start to like it. Fan opinion and criticism of Formula One is only going to get bigger and bigger. Considering the massive amount of new fans getting into the sport, of course there are going to be louder fan voices. You're going to hear more noise, more criticism, more opinions. I also think coming off a four week break didn't really help anybody. I guess we were all kind of switched off to Formula One and when we were expecting possibly a really good race and got a bore fest, it didn't do us any favours. And of course, people were very vocal about it. There's still something about this season that I just can't really put my finger on. I just don't know why I'm not enjoying it so much. Now of course I'm going to watch every single race like I always do and I'm sure we'll have some great Grand Prix this season. Formula One is a sport I love. I always will love it. But like any other sport in the world, it will never be perfect. There's no realistic world where we will have an exciting, crazy race every week. It's just not possible, it's not realistic and it's kind of silly to think that way. Now of course you probably will get bored and it's okay to voice your opinion but sooner or later we're going to get that crazy race that's going to make everybody remember why they love F1 so much. Dominance is part of the sport, boring races is part of the sport but there's so much to love about F1 and the anticipation to that next great Grand Prix is what keeps me hooked on this sport. Not only that but the stories, the drivers, the teams, the technology, the innovation, the future is why I love F1. Pretending like Red Bull are the only team to have ever dominated the sport like this is just unrealistic and quite ignorant. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this little rant slash discussion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the 2023 season so far. How do you feel? Are you a little bit bored? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments section below. I really look forward to reading your opinions. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next one.